Praise those often long-term, something we often only think of, think of in the context of human beings, but animals remember things too. For the elephants at the Hogle Zoo, their memories can stretch on for decades, and a recent day in particular is one they won't soon be forgetting. All right, back up. One more step, back up. There you go. All right, kick it. Good girl. It's said that elephants never forget. This is Christy. Here's... Good, trumpet. Good. And her six-year-old daughter, Zuri. Eric Peterson's cared for these two for his entire career. For 21 years. That's a long time. Yep. Along with Jason. Oh, good girl. Oh, right in the face. And Melissa. And what a wonderful job, right? Eric is with these animals constantly. Wave. Good. He started at the zoo as a volunteer, but something about elephants called to him. The idea of building a bond with an animal and, and that animal trusting you and me trusting that animal. Are you a good girl? Elephants never girl? forget. Yeah, you're a good girl. Not just because of their long lives. Hey, you want to play some music? And certainly not because of their affinity for the harmonica. <laughs> but because of their sharp minds. These keepers say elephants are some of the most intelligent creatures on the entire planet. I think elephants are very smart. Yeah, they're very intelligent animals. Around like a dolphin, maybe. Usually they're compared, you know, in the intelligence to whales and certainly younger humans. Clap them. Good girl. Maybe that intelligence is part of what makes them a lot like us. Well, elephants are very social. They're very family oriented. They live in these herd structures and they can be pretty complex. And they're based off a matriarchal system. Adult females, aunts. Grandmas, moms. Moms and daughters. And younger calves, grandmothers. They very much bond with each other. It's definitely a family-based herd. Oh, good girl. So who's in charge here? Who's the matriarch? It's not Christy and it's definitely not her baby. <laughs> This is Dari on her 54th birthday. She only lived for about another year. She broke the longevity record for African elephants in North America. About a month ago, Dari passed away, a day these elephants will never forget. They definitely know that she was gone. With animals as intelligent as these, their keepers did something some may find a bit unusual. They got to go in and say their goodbyes to Dari. We all cleared the area and just let them come in and surround her and be able to touch her and visit with her. Even in the wild elephants, if they come across another elephant skull or bones, we'll sniff it just to see if they knew that elephant. They definitely understood. They definitely understood, yeah. These two may have thick skins, but the past month has been challenging. They've been a little clingy with each other. They don't want to be separated as much. Drop it. Good girl. Elephants grieve too, just like us, but their lives are slow slowly returning to normal. You guys might get wet, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good girl. Elephants may never forget. Good, and foot. Good. But Christy and Zuri have some surprises ahead. All right, good girl. At some point it'll be a whole new ball game when we bring in another elephant. It'll be all new for them, so it'll be fun. Although there aren't any immediate plans for the zoo to bring in another elephant, Eric says he's confident it will happen at some point. And while Dari lived a long life, that's not the case for elephants in the wild. The zookeeper, uh, zookeepers rather say it's estimated that every day 96 elephants are killed by poachers who hunt them for their tusks. Nice to see that those.